This video is a quick follow-up to my last video on facial motion capture. I'll be covering a lot of the questions and problems that you addressed in the comments. Okay, first up is the installation of Dlib. A lot of users, particularly those on Windows, had problems installing it. So I've created an all-new GitHub repository. This one doesn't have the requirement of installing Dlib. We can see in the code we have a lot less dependencies. OpenCV is still required and NumPy. Uh, this one uses a different trained model. It doesn't use the Dlib trained model. You'll need to download the trained model from this location. And we can see installing the prerequisites, there's no Dlib required. Once you've downloaded the trained model, you'll need to update it in the code to the address that you've saved it as. You will need to re-download the Vincent model. There have been some changes to the naming of the rigging in the model, so you'll need to re-download it. Okay, now in Blender, the setup is a lot like the old one. In the scripting tab, you'll need to create two new scripts, one for starting the operator and the other one for the operator. And just paste the code in from the GitHub repository into these scripts. We can see in the scripts, it's pretty much the same, but I have added eyelid movement as well. That was another question as to whether I could do that. I've made both eyelids open the same amount because it looks a bit weird if one eyelid is twitching up and down. Eye tracking. Um, people have asked whether we can track where the eyes are. Um, the pupils aren't a point on the trained models. They're not in the iBug data set, so that's going to be really hard to do. Unless you did OpenCV, detected where the eye was, detected where the pupil was, and then set the pupils according to that. That would be possible, but it's not part of the facial landmark recognition. One thing that we can do is fix the pupils to a specific location, say to have it looking at the camera. To do that, you can click on these outlines, switch over to pose mode, and then when we move this center one, it changes the point of where he's looking at. Um, so what I'm gonna do is fix this to a specific location. So I'll go down and add a bone constraint and limit its location with a minimum and maximum of zero according to local with parent. So it's always going to stay at its initial position of zero, zero, zero. So now when we go back to object mode and start the capture, Now he's only looking at the one position, which is directly at the camera. Now this is using pure OpenCV. The capture and the facial landmarks aren't quite as good as Dlib. So if you have got Dlib working, just stick to that. We can see when I turn my face down, the chin isn't in the right position. And when I turn from side to side, it loses tracking fairly quickly if it's on too much of an angle. But the rest is okay. Another question was about the speed of the script. Um, on Linux, it works really fast. Uh, there is one setting that I do change from within this scene tab if we go down to simplify tick simplify and reduce the max subdivisions in the viewport to zero so it doesn't add any more meshes to the object that it needs than it needs to if you have any problems or questions just leave them in the comments section below and just a sneak peek on my next project i'm starting a hardware-based motion capture if that interests you, please click subscribe.